CEO of Megan Cartier. By declining a million-dollar collaboration with her via an Instagram post, she bursts Meg's bubble. According to recent speculations, Meghan Markle will make a comeback on Instagram under the new account Meghan. Several of Meghan's pals have already started following the account, including campaigner Mandana Dionne, who until last December presided over Sussex's media and charitable organization Archworld. According to her agency, she earns an estimated $1 million per post. Meghan is unassuming, and the peonies on her profile pictures are just stock images, they are rumored to be Markle's favorite flower. The accountant currently has an easy to reach 8 to 2,600 followers. There are other websites that sell them, and her PR staff estimates that the value of her brand might reach $1 billion. But what exactly does her brand stand for and how much is it truly worth? It must be comparable to a $30 million movie role, and a $20 million agreement seems exceedingly implausible that a lady in her 40s with a last name other than Kardashian will make a million-dollar post on social media. Not even the Kardashians make that type of money per post. What company would really pay Megan that much money? The top five Instagram influencers have posted about products like shampoo, crackers, and water bottles. Coach, a brand that would insult Megan's delicate sensibilities, is also promoted by Selena Gomez. Megan called Cartier, according to a source close to the insider, but the company only hires the best, and the uber rich have influenced Farajani, who is also partnered with Chanel Pantene, and Todd, who frequently posts images of herself wearing Cartier jewelry and perfumes while attending the most fashionable events in the city. Of course, they are not after Megan. Megan will not be paid to do it by Cartier Givenchy Dior etc. Since she's been free to sell merchandise for the last three years, major brands would have already hired her if they believed she could sell for them. However, the deal wasted no time in claiming that we don't know how because Hollywood requires either talent or money without either one they'll do a slow fade into nowhere land. A million dollars a post is just a variation of the one million dollar speech and billion dollar brand dribble the ACT has given his following but she, while it's unlikely that Megan could earn millions, her Instagram might prove to be lucrative enough to pay property taxes, perhaps enough to keep a rolling and steady stream of income. This is especially true when she's so unpopular that she can't even keep comments open. Recall those hundreds of millions from Netflix and Spotify, these numbers were never confirmed. It's better to report them. James thought about Markle's return to her social media antics after being MA after marrying Prince Harry in 2018. The CEO of the company stated how it will reflect poorly on genders, who had previously been accused of as egotistical in their pursuit of material prosperity. This national uproar is only going to grow as a result of a British royal acting like an American reality TV celebrity and so blatantly commercializing their position. He asserted that restoring Instagram is yet another awful decision in a long sequence of poor choices. He said that the sexes must acknowledge that their past actions have generally backfired and embarrassed and injured the country. They must remain under the radar and refrain from putting out fires with fire in the interim.